that's what we want to hear. Boy, we missed you over this spring break, and this is going to be a really different way that we're going to be doing school. We sure do miss you. I am sitting out here looking at a very empty blacktop, and boy, it makes me mad. I miss all of you hounds. Let's get started this week. Please join me and a very special guest in the Star Spangled Banner. Good morning, Hickory Hounds. Please join me in singing the Star Spangled Banner. but that was awesome. What do you think? Well, here we go with our Hickory Spirit Song. Boy, I miss singing this with you. Join me in our Spirit Song. guests to announce a really cool week that we're going to have this week. All right, Mrs. Rice, tell us what you've got. Aloha, Hickory Hounds. Yep, Miss Rice here with my favorite sidekick, Capri. Aloha. Coming to you with our Spirit Week theme day. So this week's Spirit theme is Hawaiian Day. So whatever day that your teacher picks for you to dress up when your Google Meets, you're going to dress up in your Hawaiian gear. So whether you're wearing a pineapple like mine, a lovely grass skirt, a lay around your wrist, or you can have a lay around your neck, a beautiful flower in your hair, a Hawaiian dress. Boys, you can wear a Hawaiian shirt, some puka shells, some flip flops. Yep, I want you guys to have fun with this Hawaiian day, and I hope to see you soon. Take care. Mahalo. Oh, boys and girls, I can't wait to see you in your Hawaiian shirts. You're going to see us popping into your Google Classrooms, and teachers, I can't wait to see your Hawaiian gear as well. What a fun degree. All right, well, we've got another announcement from some special guest starring teachers who are gonna tell us all about the fun that they had during spring break. Hit it off, Mrs. Collins. Hey, all you hickory hounds. I hope you all had a great spring break. I know I did. I spent time painting, playing bubbles with my kids, moving marathons, running. Um, I can't wait to see you all. Bye. Hounds, it's Mrs. Hammond. I hope you had a great spring break. I sure did with my family. We worked on our garden and we did a special project this year where we took rocks and painted them and labeled the name of the plant on the rock to label our plants. I sure do miss you and I hope to see you soon. And Miss Fitzgerald over there in fourth grade, what did you do over your break? Hi, Curry Hounds. My favorite part of my spring break was when Mrs. Zimmerman and Mrs. Grace both came by my house to drop off puzzles for me to do while I was on spring break. Now I haven't finished those puzzles but I'm working on it. It was very fun to see them and get to wave hello to them from a distance and I hope you all had an awesome spring break. Boys and girls, your teachers are so excited to hear about what you did during your break. I know that I did a lot of reading. I for sure hit over my 30 minutes a day. 
I read two books and I watched some movies with my kiddos and boy, it was nice and relaxing, especially on those sunny days. Well, we have a great week planned for you here, but remember, we always need to keep our hound pledge intact. And this week and this whole entire month, we've been working on the end of our hound pledge, navigating our future. Some ways that you can help navigate your future, I mean, right now at home, you could be reading for 30 minutes a day. You could be checking in with your teachers. You could be making sure that you're completing the work that they do. Those are just some awesome ways that us hounds can make sure that we are navigating our future. And we've got some awards coming up later this month for that. We can't wait to give those out to you. All right, boys and girls, we have one more special announcement from our counselor, Miss Nava, who's gonna do a quick lesson with you on how to do some mindful activities just to stay great and healthy during this break. Here you go, Ms. Nava. Hello, everybody. This is Ms. Nava, one of your school counselors. First of all, I hope that you're all doing well, and I know I'm missing all of your faces. I wanted to talk to you about this new space that I'm going to be talking about, mindfulness moment of the week. But before I tell you about this week's mindfulness moment, I want to tell you a little bit about what is mindfulness. Maybe it's a word that you've heard before. Maybe you already know what it is. But mindfulness is being able to be in a present moment free from distractions. Distractions are those things, again, that stop us from focusing. And mindfulness also helps us to become more aware and recognize our own thoughts and our feelings. So maybe a thought you've had is, you're bored, right? Um, nothing to do. Or maybe a feeling that you've had is like, I'm really excited and it's awesome. So mindfulness helps us to become more aware of that. Mindfulness also helps us to kind of take a step back when we're having some difficult and hard situations. Maybe you got really angry or upset and mindfulness helps us to recognize when we're feeling angry or upset so that we're able to use a coping strategy or something from our toolbox to help us calm down. So this week's mindfulness moment is going to be five finger breathing. I really like these breathing exercises because it's one where you can do anywhere. You can do it in the kitchen, you can do it in your room, in the bathroom if you wanted to, in your backyard. Um, it's something, something you can do anywhere. So five finger breathing consists of following your fingers in this path and breathing in as you go up your finger and then breathing out as you're going down your finger. Now, you have to remember that you're wanting to breathe in through your nose and then out through your mouth. So let's go ahead and practice this. So everybody put your hand out. You're gonna breathe in as you go up your finger again and then breathe out as you go down. So we're gonna start here. So start breathing in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. And last one. How are you feeling? I hope you're feeling relaxed because I know I am. Maybe you notice that I closed my eyes for a little bit and that's something that you're more than welcome to do too. So five finger breathing. I hope that you can practice that this week because the more that we practice, the better that we get. And again, it helps us to deal with those hard situations and it helps us to be more focused. Maybe you need a little break from your schoolwork. Maybe you need just a moment to relax. And that's one of the things that you can do is five finger breathing. So practice this this week and I will be back next week with another mindfulness moment. Bye everybody. Take care. I can't wait to see you in your Hawaiian gear and teachers, you too. I know I've been really focusing on wearing my masks out in public. I'm so lucky we made these at home ourselves. Wearing gloves when you're out and about and making sure you're staying that six feet apart in order to stay safe and healthy. Okay, hickory hounds, stand on up and show me your paws. Repeat after me. Proud to be a hound. Attitude is everything. We are creative and confident. Share, shine, succeed. Have an awesome week.